Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? Another week has come and gone, but not everything is going according to plan. As with every new way of growing, every new piece of equipment you introduce, and all the different strains out there, well, it's no mystery that there's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to these things. Although we'll touch on this later, this video is about something different. As we all know, the nutrients we put in our medium are placed there to be consumed and used to promote plant growth. But nothing lasts forever. So, in order to combat that, no matter what your growing method, these nutrients need to be replaced or refreshed. With that in mind, that's exactly what we're going to do as we show you how to top dress using Nature's Living Soil Super Soil Mix, and yet again, it couldn't possibly get any easier. Alright guys, so things were looking pretty good at the beginning of this week, with colas being stacked quite nicely. Even better yet, we've seen some massive improvements over last season's plants. But that doesn't necessarily mean that everything's been easier. For the most part, this was the case, but a few keen eyes picked up on something at the end of last week's video. The only question is, did you catch it? Or can you see it now? You see. As we previously mentioned, there's a learning curve with every new way of doing things, and this season was no exception. Even worse yet, we were at the brink of a deficiency that we didn't experience in season one, and it was about to learn us a thing or two. For now, we won't spoil the surprise just yet, and we're sure there are a few of you season growers out there just screaming at your screens trying to tell us exactly what the issue is here. But for those that don't know, You'll just have to hold tight and experience this as we did. At first, we saw some leaves on the undergrowth turning yellow. However, because our ladies are so much bigger, we chalked that up to those leaves being robbed of light by the massive canopy above. But this wouldn't be the case as the yellow leaves began to spread. Of course, there is some nitrogen in the cal mag, meaning that likely wasn't the case either, given how much we were using. With all that in mind though, we had something else planned that we thought may help. Given how well the plants responded to the compost tea, we theorized that the girls may have used up the majority of their nutrients in the soil, meaning that it was time to refresh, something we'd accomplish by top dressing. In all, the process was quite simple. Simply grab a bag, scoop out a bunch of the super soil mix, and begin to sprinkle it across the top of your medium. All you really need is a layer about an eighth of an inch thick to do the trick. But the job's not done there. Once that stinky batch of nutrient-rich goodness has been applied, you need to actually work it into the top inch of the soil in order to ensure maximum effectiveness. Now, we recommend gloves for this part, given how much this stuff stinks, but to each their own. Simply dig your fingertips right in and start to mix the super soil formula into the top inch of the dirt around the entirety of the pot and you're good to go. Of course, you need to hit up each one of your ladies for this part. So as I say, rinse, wash, repeat until each and every one of your plants has been top dressed. From there, it's just as if you didn't do anything. Water is normal. How sweet is that? Now, Nature's Living Soil says that their mix automatically pH balances the soil to neutral, meaning that there is no need to pH balance your water, but we still do that just in case. Then, it's as simple as giving your girls the water they need to survive, allowing the fresh batch of nutrients to flow down into the soil, thereby feeding your plants. However, things were far from over as this wouldn't correct the issue that we started to notice. By the end of the week, we only saw our issues continue along their path, meaning it was time for a more serious diagnosis. 
You see, to us, we've had a few issues already. Take for instance the RO water as the filtration process takes out some minerals and nutrients that our plants actually need to survive and thrive. Perhaps the biggest ones being calcium and magnesium. Of course, we simply supplemented with CalMag, which was working in the beginning of the grow for the most part, but this was something new. So let's play a little game. We're gonna figure out who's worth their salt by seeing when you figure it out. As you can see in a few of these clips, the deficiency started with the older growth on the bottom of the plant. From there, it would work its way up through the center of the plant, causing yellowing in the veins of the leaves before turning the entire leaf yellow. Along with that, there's just one more thing you need to keep in mind here. Our ladies have recently entered flower within the past month. So, you think you got it figured out? In the end, the fact that our girls had just entered flower was the biggest form of insight, as one of our nutrients spikes in importance when this happens, and it's phosphorus. For those that don't know, phosphorus is essential for growth, from roots to bud. When plants are young, smaller amounts of phosphorus are needed to develop the root structure. However, when your plants enter flower, a much greater amount of the nutrient is needed to put weight on when it comes to your buds. Without it, the plants will draw this nutrient from wherever possible to achieve this, even if it means taking it from somewhere else that's needed for survival. In short, they take the nutrients build up in the leaves or the plant's solar panels in order to continue along its path. Of course, if you let this go long enough, the leaves will die no longer allowing the plant to take in sunlight before the entire plant dies from this deficiency. Fortunately for us, we caught on, but things would get worse before they got better. Seeing how we're growing using a super soil mix that thrives by using microbials, we got a tip from one viewer suggesting the use of something called mammoth pea. Seeing how we don't have a store nearby that offers this, we needed to buy it online, meaning that the deficiency would continue to progress as we waited for the fix to come in the mail. Make sure you tune in next week to see our ladies and watch as we correct the issue that has surfaced. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you figured out what the deficiency was before we gave the answer away. As always, feel free to follow us along on any one of our social media accounts for additional content and until next time, keep learning, keep growing. Catch you later guys.